Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a bit of a patio makeover video. I assume that this video will be quite a couple days long, but I wanted to make over the patio that is attached to my studio office space. So let me just take you on a little tour of it, what it looks like right now. So here is what the patio currently looks like. It's very windy out today, so if there is some wind in some of these shots, it's just inevitable. Um, I really wanna do this today. so. I would say like the main factor here is that the deck is obviously not as large as the actual studio itself is, which really, really bugs me at first. And then I had some ideas. So what's amazing about this deck is that it is a secondhand deck. My dad helped um, someone move a trailer and this deck was attached to that trailer. So it's secondhand. This saved me a lot of money in lumber um, and we're repurposing. So hopefully I can make this look good and I'm pretty sure I can to be honest. So. You'll see that basically the doors, they open to the edge. So let me just show you. So this is the door that gets opened all the time. The other one doesn't really get opened that often. And you can see it sort of just opens to the edge, which is really, really great. So the deck has this step right here and then sort of a, what looks to be like a little garden over there. Um, so the main problem areas I would say are this for sure. And then definitely over here, this is definitely a problem area as well because it uh, has, I don't know, it has no purpose. So I've kind of come up with this idea of what to put over here. I've actually already tried it out. So I will kind of talk you guys through that as I go. But I was thinking, let's give it a quick sweep off first and we'll go from there. So I'm definitely looking for some big terracotta pots. I'm not entirely sure about these because they are kind of like just the typical um, regular terracotta pot. They have some other small ones that are really cute back there. This little guy has a llama on it, but um, too small I'm thinking. They also have like a ton of white really cute pots, like uh, different like geometric ones, which are really cool. Some of these sort of ones. These are all pretty tiny up here, but oh, this one's so cute. So cute, little puppy. Just thought I'd kind of show you what they have. This one I really like. But yeah, these are all like really small um, for what I want to do. These are so sweet. Wow, just like saucers, but whew, that is so heavy. These would just be like really gorgeous dinner plates, honestly, but um, they're so heavy. <laughs> I also saw too, they have this like lighter color terracotta and um, specifically, I love this guy. Show you, really like this. So kind of am thinking that we need it. Only $12.99, I'm very surprised by that. So I could potentially get a bunch of these because they all match in color and they have a really big one and it's only $24.99, which is not so bad. So that's good to know that they have. It's so gorgeous in here. I'm looking for a specific bush plant. So if I see it, I will uh, call it out to you, but I'm kind of open as well to getting some other stuff. So let's go see what they have outside. So mums would obviously be good because they would come back next year, but I don't know that I really want mums. I think I want like a oriental grass, which I haven't seen those yet. We have come to Terra. Remember in that last clip I said uh, oriental? I totally meant ornamental grass and I feel like someone's gonna call me out for that. Anyways, so we've come here because they didn't really have the grass that I wanted at the other place. This place is like massive, so I'm hoping that they'll have uh, it here because they just have so much stuff here. These pots are pretty sweet, 40% off. Um, I was thinking too it might kind of be cooler to have because I'm kind of going for that like country 
look it might be cool to have them in like old buckets and old like you know pails wooden things like that but those are cool there's like a brown one like that one too of course it's brown these planners are pretty cool i love the like half uh, crescent type shape they have little wooden things it says they're for outdoor um plants so that's something they also have that really cute uh little like circle one over there love this wooden pot that's so sweet but what do you put in a wooden pot cute plant stand too that would be so cute with that little planter this planter is really sweet too it's like uh, kind of like an iron. I don't know if that's cast iron because that's kind of flimsy. Straight up, like this is how hot it is in here. Oh my god. Okay, so I think I found the grass that I want. Yes, I did. That is it for sure. A unique plant with copper bronze colored foliage. This is what I wanted. I feel like we should go and probably get a little cart. So I picked the best ones out. I, I, I'm not really sure how many I even need, but so we have this one, which is kind of cool because he's, I don't know if you can see, let me move him over. Uh, he's pretty long. And back to these uh, plant pots, the legs come off, which is really great because I'm thinking about sitting in the garden. I'm not 100% positive on that, but um, I think I am. If I do sit it on the deck, it would be fine, obviously with the legs on it, but I did try to take one off and it came off quite easily. Okay, I'm really liking this little combination right here um, with it in the uh, wooden pot and sort of on this like cast iron. Thinking that outdoors should have like quite a little bit more white. It'd be so sweet to find like a bigger planter that was white, like, you know, like one of the long rectangular ones. That's what I'm thinking. I saw these too, which I liked a lot as well. These are feathered reed grass. Just thought I'd show you guys those two. But there's a pot planter over here. I thought we could see how that looks. So I really like these two together. I think that looks really cute and nice. Okay, so here's all the stuff we got. Um, I didn't vlog this, but I did get um, some mulch. This is what I've decided I'm gonna put over the stone area. And at the bottom there, I also got a bag of uh, potting soil. So hopefully this is all I need, but I'm gonna take this stuff out and at least put it on the deck and then uh, we'll get a move on. Okay, so I wanna start here. And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna pull some of these weeds. I want to take out most of the big stone and then I want to cut like a real line into here. So that's what we're going to attempt to do right now. Look what I just found, <laughs> a puppy bone. Oh my God, that's so funny. Here's what it's looking like. It is a much nicer little line now. So I'm basically gonna have to go in there get all of the grass out, smooth this out. I'm probably gonna take out a little bit of the larger rock, kind of just get it to an even playing field. This 
So we have a much more smooth little playing field now. I took a bunch of rock out of it, mostly like big stuff, but a little bit sort of under there and now it's like a flat surface. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mulch this. Unfortunately, I can't actually make this a garden because there is um, a, basically like a pipe that goes along here that we put in because if you remember back when we were putting my studio in, this used to be the wettest part of the yard and we really had to fill it in. So unfortunately, this can't really be a garden because of drainage issues. <laughs> um, so we're just gonna put some mulch down. My neighbor is playing some very loud music, so I'm going to talk over this entire clip because I don't want it to get flagged. Anyways, so we built this sort of, I would call it almost like a, a fence. Um, I just wanted to add like a bit of, um, oh my God, this music is so distracting. I just wanted to add like a bit of like an end zone to this just so that we can put some stuff up against it and it kind of, you know, feels like, you know, it's the end of the deck. So that's what it looks like. I'm really stoked on this. Hi, Oki. Hello, Bubba. Excuse me. Move your bum. Move your bum. Thank you. I'm really stoked on this. <laughs> Bud? Hello. Oh my goodness. Am I on your level? Am I on your level? I'm really stoked on this because all of these are repurposed. These are old, uh, just like farming fence uh, poles that my dad got for me. So I'm very excited to be able to like repurpose them as something. Oh my gosh, now Gerb's coming. Everybody just wants to be the star of the show. So that's what that is looking like. Now I wanna get some sort of seating area for the deck and I can't really decide. I don't wanna put something that's like like a sofa because like I doubt I really ever have like people over. I sort of just want to get a chair. So I'm going to show you guys this. I saw it on Facebook Marketplace. So the reason why I was thinking about getting this chair was because first of all, I loved it. Second of all, I thought it would look good on the deck, but also because it looks very old. Things that were made a long time ago tend to be honestly made better and um, better quality. And uh, I'm going to check this out and see if it's got, um, you know, like a good wear on it. But yeah, it's on Facebook Marketplace. I just messaged the guy and he said it's still available. So I'm thinking about going and picking it up right now. And then I will show you guys the chair when I get back. All right, you guys, so here is the chair. Basically, it's like a folding chair. So it opens like this. What do you think, Oki? Think it's pretty cool? It's pretty sweet, so it's sort of like a lounger. This moves, but yeah, it made really well. Like I said, it's teak, so um, that's super awesome. So I think, yeah, this is gonna be the chair for the deck. I'm really glad that I found this on Facebook Marketplace of all places. That's so sick. Something else that I wanted to show you guys that I got was this rain barrel. I'm gonna be getting um, some east trough put on the office, so that's why I got this rain barrel. It's super sweet. Um, I got it from Home Depot. I'm gonna link anything in this video that I can find for you guys. Um, so basically you would just put the east trough down into this and then there's this little thing on it so it doesn't get bugs and all that kind of stuff in the water. So uh, it also has this little hanging thing on. Um, I'm not going to attach it yet until we get the east trough put on the office obviously but that would be great for um, you know catching rainwater, watering plants, all of that good stuff. So I got these, these are from Target. They're from the Opa House collection. Um, they are premium string lights. So they have a bit of um, some rose gold around them, you can see. And I really wanna hang these on the patio. So I found this little like Pinterest um, tutorial thing about how to hang them on a deck. Essentially, I have cut two pieces of wood uh, just with like a table saw and they're just sort of squares. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put, Oki, you're so cute. We're gonna attach them to the deck here. And then we're also going to put one over there on that side. So I got these, some deck screws. We're gonna screw her into place. That's what, 
she, he, he said, she said, I don't know. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is what it looks like. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so now we're gonna take this one and we're gonna put this on this side of the deck. From there to there. To, to there, that's to what, there. I, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. Everyone say hi to Michael, he's helping me hang these lights. Um, so show them where you're gonna put it. So it's gonna come across the patio like this. And then I'm gonna have to buy two more sets because then we're gonna do uh, coming from here, out, and then across over there. So we need two more sets? Yeah. Yeah. Basically, this is what we're gonna use to hang them. Saw this on Pinterest. Um, should work. We're just gonna put one over there into the studio and hang her on up. And we'll put we'll put one on there too. I'm not really dressed appropriately for this. Okay. <laughs> do you have the hook? I do. So you think we should go into the Roof? Either way is fine. Well, I'm thinking like... This sort of keeps it from coming out. Yeah, that holds better. I agree. Hey. Eyes <laughs> up here. I went out and got a power cord to plug in the string lights. I had to get a couple more of these clip things. And then I went and got some more of the lights because obviously I needed two um, more sets. I feel like I might need three actually because um, the middle one is a little bit longer. So I ended up getting three. Now we're gonna put up the string lights. It's so hot today, eh buddy? Oh my goodness. So here's what they look like. They're really cute. I really like them. Um, so I had it come out that way, come back in this way, and then it's gonna be like this here. The only thing is, is it's a bit long, so there's lights like coming down here. And I'm wondering if those lights, sh well, I guess, you know what? Why don't we just do this? Right, wrap it around, call her a day. It's time to finally put something in this spot now. Um, if you can see, there's quite a bit of gravel um, dug up. So Girly has made this her bed and she just keeps digging holes in it. So uh, yeah, that's fine with me to be honest, but we need to put something here to make it look a little cuter. So I have a, a, a ton of stuff. The plants that we got, you guys would, re re would remember. And then I have a log. Um, I got this stuff from that store. I have this basket, which I got from um, an antique market. I don't know if I'm gonna use it as a basket or what, but we'll figure it out. And then I have this bin that was my brother's gave it to me. And then I think I got this from an antique place as well. It's just like a little um, rusty old bin as well. So I know for sure that I want to, hello my love, hello. I know for sure that I want to, um, with this one that we got from that place, I want to uh, plant some of these guys in it. What do we like better? That or, hmm. I want to say the other one looks better. Okay, I think that's what we're gonna do. Got a face that looks like mine. Okay, you guys ready to see the final reveal? We kept the deck area clean, which was a very important part of this to me just because I have, you know, the puppies coming in, in and out all the time. We have our beautiful string lights, which I think look so good. I'm gonna show you guys this in uh, the night, or in the dark, in the nighttime. Um, as well, but those look really good. Um, we have our beautiful little fencing area, which 
I think really kind of like brings us all together. This beautiful chair, put a little plant there. Um, and then over here in this little garden area, I just kept it like this, very open. Girly um, loves to sleep in here, so it kind of gets a little messy, but that's okay. Um, I kind of want to put a mat here eventually, but I just haven't found one that's thin enough and also the color that I want. Thought I would show you what it looks like at night. It's so pretty, so pretty. It looks so good, it looks so cute. I love it. 